Alrighty guys, it's been a while since so I put any content on here. So today um, I'm gonna do a three wood kind of challenge here. So not too many weeks ago, I ended up getting me a new Ping G430 LST three wood. And it's always been a club I've struggled just a little bit with. I've never really liked to hit three wood. I kept a lot of hybrids in my bag for that reason. So I could hit the hybrids. But anyways, I like this three wood when I tested it. I do have an upgraded shaft in it. So here's gonna be the test. Um, I have the Ping LST. It is at standard 15, but I will not lie. I do have an upgraded Tour AD IZ7X shaft in it. So a little bit lower lofted than the four woods. I normally carry the four woods, so I do have two of those I'm gonna test against it. First one's probably my oldest, which is my Titleist TS2, 16 and a half, and it's got a Tensy White S75 in it. And then my one I started carrying at the beginning of this year, carried for quite a while, Oh, it's a 65 F's Tensy Blue shaft in it, but it is a Rogue Low Spin 16 and a half or three high launch. So that's theirs. Uh, I'm gonna start out with the Titleist because it's my oldest. Uh, it actually stayed in the bag for quite a while. Of course, I didn't hit it that often because like I told you, I really didn't like hitting it. So, um, but it's a good one. It always looked good. The shape of it always looks good. So hold on, my son just got on the Xbox. Sorry guys. All right, so haven't really swung much. So Y'all hang with me on these first few swings. Oh, that's going right up. All right, well there's a good one out of bounds for everybody, or at least way right. All right, so 147 ball speed. Got it, 235. A little bit better, but it's still going right. 150 ball speed, 250. I mean, so probably me with a three wood, I'm always thinking I need about 260 out of this club. Again, I haven't warmed up much. So both those balls felt good. Both of them had pretty good, I mean, 110 foot of height on that three, four wood. What I always gave this Titleist three wood is this, guys. It's very forgiving. I mean, you can hit it bad, good, or whatever. I think it, the loft being a four wood, being 16 and a half, helps a good bit. Uh, I also think Titleist just makes a pretty good fairway metal. So that one was terribly struck, and I still nearly got 240 out of it. Minus one of the Titleist. Probably the best one I get too, so. 152 ball speed. So about seven, six, seven yards short of what I'd be looking for it to do. Um, okay, so real quick, I'm gonna go to the Rogue. Now the Rogue and the Titleist have the exact same law. Of course, I just found out the Rogue has about a 10 gram lighter shaft and um, it is low spin where my Titleist never was. One of the things I liked about it a lot was that it was low spin and I figured I really kind of Needed a little bit lower spin when you loft them up this much. Hundred and three height, fifty-three ball speed, and that's going to probably get to that two sixty number. Okay, two sixty-one. So, like I say, I, I really did like this three wood. I really don't know why I started searching for another one. Besides, I just wanted to buy something new. Plus, I'm a big pain guy. So I wanted to ping in my bag, but uh, really good shot there. I think felt good. Mm -hmm. Another good. So about 109 height here. This one's gonna come up a little short. Spin definitely is a little bit higher up. But I mean, still, I'm at two, two fifty-four in that one, guys. With 37, nearly 3,800 spin. Okay, last one with this one. Then I'm gonna go to the. Low spin pain, we'll see what the difference is on. Uh oh, that's a draw. It's only three thousand. This might go a ways. 
No, sitting right there, man. Back you help me now. So another 260. Um, okay, so another 260 shot. So as y'all can tell, that's probably, that was in the bag for a long time. That's about the distance. Now, a lot of changes are coming on here. First of all, yeah, the shaft is upgraded. Um, I, I got a good deal on the shaft. And the head's 15 degrees. So I imagine that would not only help my spin numbers, probably change my trajectory. Remember, I was about 100 to 110 on the trajectory. Low spin, you'd think like lower ball, but that's not really true with this one. So that's going to go 104 in the air. Wasn't a pure strike. It's going to be about three yards short of my number. So uh, at 157. So 152 ball speed on not wasn't a great strike. 3800 spin. The amazing thing I've always said about this new ping is there's a lot of forgiveness in this low spin head. But you know, I do have the driver also, and I feel like the driver has a ton of forgiveness for a low spin head, which naturally people say are harder to hit. I, I don't I don't feel like either one of the pins are. Pulled it. Oh, I tried to go after one there. So I didn't hit that that great. Um, but all right, we're gonna count that as a one-off because I swung pretty hard trying to get a hope for one. All right, nice smooth swing, looking for 260. That's a heel. I've never seen a heel. See where that miss is going to go. All right, so I've got to hit you a couple that are decent to uh, be able to count. So I mean, guys, for that miss, I nearly got 150 ball speed, and I did get 240 yards, which is not bad. That wasn't actually a great strike either, but I would take it. So 96 and a half height, guys, it's going to be short of my number by three yards. Spin was 3,700. That's a little hilly there, too. But, man, if you're in the three-wood market, I know the price of the LST is a little retarded sometimes, but if you're in the market and you want something that I think can deliver height, distance, and forgiveness, man, it's really a good club. Golly! I don't right, get one good before we quit this. Believe it or not, guys, I don't feel like I've hit a single ball very good on the face, at least, of this club. And I'm still getting a 240, 250 number out of it. So I, and I hate to do that. I think I'm just trying to press so I can tell you how good this club is. That looks spinning to me. It is spinning. Well, funny thing about this is... Felt like I hit the other two better. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to put one more here. We're, but the thing is, I'm about 10 foot shorter to three foot shorter on height. I'm actually, the forgiveness is amazing. It's not necessarily longer like you might think. See, that's, that's gonna have a hundred foot of height. All right. So the spin's hanging around 35 for both of those. So, hey, I'm going to go back to this non-low spin version, the Titleist, just real quick. And I tell you, it's, just, it's a pretty head looking behind the ball. I think it's, Titleist makes a pretty club. I could not go left with this club. See, and that's only 30, that's only 4,000 spin. Height gets up to that 112 range with this club. I just cannot draw this thing. <laughs> That's not going to draw. Oh, God, I thought like that was a draw. That's probably the best ball I've hit as far as in the face. I tell you, I don't know if any one of them are bad. I'm back with the paint, by the way. But I, I like how the paint is so shallow-faced. And I do like how much more forgiveness I feel like. 
Tio. You know, I've been bragging about this club for so many weeks. I come out here to do a video and I can't hit it to save my life. But, all right, two more paint swings. Consistent ball. Not saying good ball, saying pretty consistent ball. That was pretty well hit. See, there's a 114 height for this club. Okay, so that's my number I'm trying to hit right there, guys. It's about 258 with the three wood. No, that was it. Oh no! The face is open 12 and 0.2 degrees. Little cutty butter cut crap. Man, that felt good too. Thought I was gonna get to brag. Well, we were going to draw that one, period. We did. I know y'all wanted to see a thousand three woods today. That's what I'm doing for you. As many three woods as I can swing. Look at that one. felt pretty good. Let's see where this ends up. Thirty-two hundred spin. 161 and um oh my computer screen going crazy over there. Okay. Hey guys, I'm gonna hit a driver. Let's see how much more I get out of the driver and ball speed. I was hanging around 150 there. Well, I wanted to see the gap there is what I was going for. Um, so as you can tell, ping driver has about 306, and I had 164 and a half ball speed on that one. Um, yeah, that is quite a bit of difference. <laughs> um, height's 100 feet too, so it's right there with the three wood. That's gonna be speed, not 2900. Still probably going to go a good bit. 63 on ball speed. A little open face. Okay. Last little test. Did y'all notice I was around 250, 260? Most time, a lot of 250s with that um, three wood. Hey, this is my 19 degree hybrid. Um, again, all my clubs have some type of Tour AD shaft. This is the DI 85S. 19 degree 425. So this is not the 430 older edition. Okay, that don't count. You know, it's you gotta figure out the gaps in your bag, which now my gap looks like it's 50 to 60 yards. But um driver 300, two I always try to say 280. Um three wood seems to be around 250, 260. And then I would need this club to be somewhere around 230. Get down good. God, look at that, guys. That's 235 and carry. This is going to go as far as the three. It's going to go further than the three. See, that's not a very good gapping right there, guys. I was trying to get a cut, but I didn't expect it. Dang near shanked it. Alright, that's the distance I want. But, guys, that was hit terribly. I wonder if I can go off this up back to a four wood. I mean, a four hybrid. <laughs> guys, that's hit pretty square. Man. 
So looking at those numbers you're looking at, pretty much tells me my three wood and my three hybrid are literally within 12 yards of each other. My next club in the bags is one of their four eye crossovers. I think I've done a video on this. If I haven't, go pick you one up. Really good traditional iron, but probably called a driving iron. The forgiveness in this thing might be the best of any club things ever made iron-wise. This is, I, I call this 225. And there she's at 227. So, um, <clears throat> man, talk about gapping in your bag. Everybody carries a driver. It's about three wood hybrid. What can you attack the par fives with? Right now, my bag's pretty confused. Now, probably about 270 out of that three wood. That's pull. Okay. So, my video is not what it wants to be, but I'm going to hit one more with the three wood. I, I, from the looks of things, guys, and y'all y'all watched with me, I need about 270 for gapping. Maybe 275. And I don't think I can get that out of this club, just to be honest with everybody. But that, that's just about what I need because that, that went 230. Y'all saw the hybrid hanging somewhere in the 250 range. I need 265, 270 out of this to keep it in the bag. I know that's high and not very good. That might be Mike can get an extra five or ten yards out of this club. I'm swinging for the fences right now, trying to get that extra yardage out. All right, I'm put a good swing on a three wood. I'm gonna act like this is a fairway finder, like I've got to have a ball up around the green. Something matters. Okay, so that line, something's about to matter. Might not go 245. Uh, okay. Holy crap, guys. Mm. I've always struggled with a three wood. That's hot. Well, my own video broke my curve, so probably not the smartest thing to do. One more ball and I really am calling it quits. That's drawing. Trying to get it the other way. I, I like four more hit. I think that one's gonna get out there around 270. It wasn't really a big swing. It was just a good hitting swing. See if this will get to 270. I mean, I think I can live with that right there. Um, still my gap in that might be 10 or 15 yards. But that one felt a little bit more center to face. All right, guys, it's a little hard to say right now. I still love this club. I mean, I don't know why. I like the look of it. I feel like it has a real shallow face. You know, it's not like a... I feel like if you look at that face and maybe you compared it to this little bit deeper, I think what they call it, face, it's just a little bit higher. I feel like I can get this one airborne a little bit more. Um, the low spin model. I would not be scared of it. I, I don't think it's one of those that... Is very hard to hit. Now, I wasn't getting the distance I thought out of mine, to be honest with y'all. I thought I was getting about 265, 270, and I'm a lot closer to 260. So, um, make sure you have the proper gap in your bag that it makes sense to carry this club because if you've got another club that's more accurate that can get you there, I would suggest using that. But, anyways, three woods, I hate them. I don't even know why I carry one sometimes, but I will tell you this one has made me feel more confident over it. So 
If you're in the market, not a bad one to check out. Thank you.